This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Aaron Cheek says, any good stories from syndicated TV voiceover sessions? You had to have some fun on some of those. Oh God. Um, you know, the, the, the most fun a lot of times is, is just, especially working with gorilla and Bobby is what are they going to come up with? And the, the, the funny thing about it is, is people would think that so much of that was written and what have you. And they rehearsed and the beauty of it was we would sit down, we would talk about the stories. We would talk about what points we want to get across. And then the talent did their job. And Monsoon and Heenan were fabulous at doing that. Um, there wasn't a lot of say this, say that, or go here. It's like, okay, hey guys, it's a reminder of the story. And they would go out and do it. But you would just be double over in laughter with some of the things that would come out of uh, Monsoon and Heenan. With Vince and Jesse and Bruno, <laughs> a lot of times it was massaging Bruno because Bruno didn't know if Jesse was making fun of him or not. And, you know, thought sometimes we were feeding Jesse shit and didn't get, hey, it's a work. This is the dynamic here, Bruno, that Jesse's going to fuck with you. Um, but Bruno was always a gentleman and, and it was it was good, but never. Um, later on, when John Filippelli came in and you know, wanted more say in things. And there was a, uh, a voiceover one time that honky tonk man and Roddy Piper were the two, the, you know, analyst in color and Piper called honky a grease ball. And flip got very upset because he felt it was a derogatory term towards Italians. And, Piper's looked at him and goes, he's not Italian. Right. And he says, ah, oh, you can't do that because it's derogatory. He goes, take a look at him. <laughs> I mean, look at him. What did you call a guy that looked like that in the fifties? Right. Which is what he's portraying a guy from the fifties. Yeah. He's a grease ball. And uh, that was an argument that, that we lost because it was one of flips first times in there. And, you know, so you had to kind of put him over. Okay. You win. Okay. Yeah. We won't say grease ball. Sure. But I, I agreed. I said, if he was Italian, wouldn't even enter the conversation, but yeah, shit like that. Great question uh, about Piper from Mr. Cherry here. He says, when you came in, Roddy was already a face and was never really a heel again for the remainder of his career. Were there ever any plans to turn him heel again? I know people loved him, but he seemed to get so much heat as a heel and the heat draws the money, right? Well, we tried to get Roddy as a heel when he came back with Sean O'Hare and had Roddy cutting his Roddy Piper heel promos and what have you. And nobody wanted to boo Roddy. He was hard. He was hard to hate. It was too entertaining. Martin Ramirez says, uh, did you ever have any chocolate cake with Zeus during his time with the company? Don't understand the question. That must be one of y'all's little, uh, Oh, oh uh, left-handed cigarettes is what people your age used to call them. Don't know what that is either. Marijuana pills as Bill Watts called it. A dube, a joint, um... a J, a blunt, a bong. Weed. Yes. Mary Jane. Yeah. I don't think, I don't remember if we did or not. Cause he traveled separately and, uh, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I don't think we did. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.